secrets to curling your hair and getting Victoria's Secret waves in less than half an hour ish so if you want this look stay right here and keep watching now let me begin by saying you need to be selective about what curling iron you use so there are variety of a variety of hair curlers on the market but you want to get one that can give you what you want so if you want this look you should opt for either the dry bar or the remington it's a cheaper one the remington is super cheap or any hot tools curling iron but you know i would say one and one fourth inches or one inch it really depends or even a half an inch you could make it work it just depends on what you exactly want but this is the dry bar one and i'm going to show you how to use this but you can totally get other ones i will give you all of the options and i have all of the expertise in this because i've literally purchased them all so some suck never buy conair ever but other than that you can find a good one for cheap or steep this is expensive but you need to choose a good iron for your hair because it won't look good if you don't have a good iron that's just a fact what do you do next so technically you apply heat you need a heat protectant because if you don't, your hair will get fried. Although I don't really believe that that's true, that a heat protectant even does that much. But you might as well in case it helps. So you choose, choose any heat protectant. I like Kerastase. Tresemme is a good cheap one. It's like four bucks or something that you can get at any drugstore. Or, you know, anything, any heat protectant. Because they're all, they're all kind of the same. But the sprays are good, I think. Because you can get them all over. The lotions aren't necessarily that great, in my humble opinion. And trust me, I have tried everything. So I don't have a hair tie, guys. But I want you guys to know that the right way to do this is to put your hair up and section it off. And then... Do that and do that and then do it like that. So I'm going to do it in my haphazard way just to show you the technique. Wait. You grab your hair like that. Get dangle. Now, you're supposed to start from here and go up. But I'm being rough. So this is the technique, right? The bottom part is going to be curled kind of away from your face to the back watch just watch this is important to always and see the dry bar one is great because you can kind of twist it like that do you see the twistiness i'm gonna move this mic out of the way but that is what you want to do and for 10 to 15 seconds now if you really want to go pro about this what you should do is get a bobby pin and bobby pin the curl and leave it in and then it'll actually hold really well. So if you have problems with curls holding, do the bobby pin trick. So you take down your next layer of hair and you choose enough hair that feels comfortable to do, but you can vary, use a variety of lengths, um, not lengths, excuse me of widths of hair if you want to really make it work and look messy and beachy. See, if you don't want your curls to look perfect, then you have to do a variety. It's the variety. So look, watch. And this is what a dry bar, I like this one because you can do that. This is what the beach waver does for you. Um, but the beach waver, I had two and they broke. So other than they're malfunctioning, they were great. They kind of do it, the work for you. Hot tools you can use, but again, it's harder when you're a beginner. So do you see that, guys, how it starts to look? And what I like to do also is do that to kind of do one big curl 
and then take each one apart individually, right? And do this. This is how you get the messy wavy look. But this is the thing, watch. That's why this is a great iron, I'm telling you. Super uh, beginner friendly, I would say. See, and then you could bobby pin that and then spray it a little bit. No one likes shitty spray. It's too much spray where it feels icky. But see, look, you can choose select strands. So some is going to be longer, not longer, but um, more curled, and others will be flat, other strands. Does that make sense? So that's how you're going to do it for the bottom part. Now the top, what do you do? Okay, so pay attention because your top is what people are going to see. Number one, avoid a common mistake that beginners make. So let me show you something. I'm trying to see if I'll be able to make the mistake. You, I don't want to actually do a crease in my hair. Crap, guys. You guys, I did this for you. I don't want to go full crease, but you can fuck up and make a crease here that looks really bad when you move it the wrong way in the front. So don't do that. How do you avoid that? By making your application. So your application of this to this has to be smooth and has to be flat. See like that. This way. So don't do don't do like this and that or anything fancy. You could do this, but watch. You have to kind of stay there. Don't let it get messed up in the front. I'm telling you, the crease is the worst. It looks so bad and you can barely get rid of it unless you have to flat iron it. But see, look, watch how I lay it. Look. Just careful. Careful. See? You see how I'm doing it? Careful. Very. And so this you do toward the face, but then here you do away. Do you see? Carefully do this. By the way, this is where I'm using to move. You see? We don't want to crease. I hope this is helping because look so that's how you're gonna do it keep going and just watch yourself do it watch in the mirror to see if you like the curls and once you've done the basic curl so you've done the bottom and you've done the top making sure to do it correctly and then go in between right you're gonna look at it and then do not forget this one thing that I'm gonna tell you when you curl your hair you may see those tacky curls that so bad I can do one for you because I need you to know I hope it actually works because it's hard to do it when your hair's already kind of curled but you know how salons do beach waves and that's what I'm kind of showing you how to do assuming you like this look mm. okay so you see that I mean, I guess this isn't even that tacky. This, this, this is actually okay. It looks cute, but if you don't want it to look like this, how do you fix that? Like this. You have to always remember to detangle this, like brush through it with your hands first to keep the curl, but get rid of that overly done like prom look almost. Not prom, but like 80s prom. See, look at the difference. That's drastically different, right? This is like messy, beachy, like natural. That's what we're done. If you like the done look, then just do it that way and spray and leave it. But if you want this, that's how you do it. And you don't even need really to use much hairspray with, when you do this because you're not going for like the done perfect look. So I hope that you love this video and expect more. Mwah. And subscribe for more beauty advice and hair you know, psycho care tips, as well as makeup, although my makeup ain't looking that right today, mm. but if you want more, please do subscribe and give this a like, and a warm heart will be delivered to you, thank you.